2022 World Cup hosts Qatar is mired in scandal. It's under fire following reports of migrant workers on construction projects being abused. The mistreatment has been compared to slavery and has led to dozens of deaths. Well, football's governing body FIFA has expressed concern at the revelations and the UN agency said Qatar is violating an international ban on the use of forced labour. This, coupled with the prospect of the Qataris switching the World Cup to winter because of the summer heat, has triggered calls to strip the Gulf state of the event altogether. Artie spoke to the General Secretary of the International Trade Union Confederation that's leading a campaign against migrant worker abuse. Qatar is a slave state. That's an extreme thing to say, I know, in the 21st century, but that's the reality. Workers are exploited from the moment they are forced to pay money to recruitment agencies in Nepal or India, Philippines, other Asian or African nations. They sign a contract, they go to Qatar. Often the contract's torn up and they're paid as little as $400 uh, dollars a month. They are, many of them, skilled workers. They are forced to live in squalor. Nobody who's been to those labour camps where you have 8, 10, 12, sometimes more to a room, would uh, accept, and certainly no CEO would accept their son or daughter living in those conditions. Then, of course, they are often uh, abused, underpaid. The work is dangerous. More than one worker a day will die in Qatar. And yet, even if they want to leave, they can't leave the country because they're basically the owner, that they're owned by the employer who has to sign an exit visa or indeed a transfer of working rights. Their, health, their pa passports are often held against the law. It's appalling. It's appalling. And frankly, it could be fixed. We've offered the government solutions. They have no political will to fix it.